everyone, John and Sean. We're uh, back again for another game of Flames of War. This time it's going to be uh, Soviet Berlin versus uh, Berlin German. And uh, I'm excited for this battle because we've had uh, some good tank fights in the past few months, but this time it's an infantry fight. And uh, it looks like it's going to be fun. And maybe an artillery fight with what we've got in this army. So uh, uh, I guess I'll go first, Sean, if you don't mind. I'm taking a... Uh, Hero Guard Motor Rifle Battalion and my um, core formation has an HQ of two SMG teams then I have a Hero Guard Motor Rifle Company I've got two of those um, they have infantry as well as a commissar and then I've got a Hero Guard SMG Company I love the SMG Company um, uh, as well with a commissar attached to them also in that core formation, I've got a 6.82mm mortar platoon, a 620mm mortar platoon, so lots of mortars. But they're in the core formation, and they're dirt cheap. So it's, I think it's a great way to just kind of keep that. You might slaughter all my infantry, but you're also going to have to come after my mortars to break my, my company. Yeah, that seems automatic. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Um, I also have a uh, four-gun uh, strong 57mm uh, anti-tank uh, company. And so that's one that doesn't do the bombardments, but it's better AT. I think it's AT-11 on those guns, which is, which is nice. Um, and then I have a Hero BA-64 armored car platoon with, uh, I believe, five of those. And then lastly in my core formation, I've got some Valentines. We've still got some old clunkers that the British loaned us. I've got three Valentines, two with a two-pounder gun and one with a six-pounder gun. So that's my core formation. Outside of my core formation, I'm rocking a brand new unit. It's brand new. I just painted it, so I don't expect a lot out of it. That's usually how it goes. Uh, but that's the 203-millimeter artillery uh, battery. So that's the massive tracked guns. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. Um, and then I've got some 37 millimeter equipped IL-2 Sturmoviks, as well as uh, IS-2 Late Guards Heavy Tank Company. That's three IS-2 Lates, um, but they're not the hit on four kind. They're, they're still hit on three. I couldn't quite afford it, the super fancy IS-2s. Um, I also have Lucky, Make Your Own Luck, and Under the Cover of Smoke for my command cards. And uh, that's my force. Comes out to 105 points, I believe. Okay. What did you bring, Sean? Nice. I think it's just I think it's the Berlin Battle Group is what it's called. But yeah, it's just the infantry list. And I try to stick to the theme on like what I had. So I try to make it pretty hodgepodge. So you know, I, I got the commander and then I also did one full squad of Volks Grenadiers and put as many panzer trucks as I could. I think that's two for them. Then um, never used them, but I have a full squad of Volkssturm. Um, you know, just the militia group, the old men and maybe boys in there. I think my models are old men. <laughs> and then you always need some good SS men when you bring in Volkstorm to kind of boost that uh, morale up if you have to. There you go. And then um, the last thing I think in the core there is, oh no, two more things. Um, I got some SS uh, Pack 40s. They're a little bit cheaper than the Grenadier, so it was kind of nice to save some points and especially for reserve situations. Are they hit on uh, threes or fours with the SS? Uh, threes. They hit on threes. So yeah, I think it saves a few points, which um, mm -hmm. you know is a nice option to be able to choose. Um, oh, and then I got some SS uh, mortars, and I end up going with those. They're a little bit, they're in a way cheaper, but um, I can actually do a full squad. I think if you go with the regular Grenadiers, you can actually have a two two man base. So mm -hmm. usually prefer to have a full one there. So full for you is four bases. Four uh, I think or actually six? six is the full, six. but I think it's yeah four or six. Or I prefer to have a you know the full template, so I'm not rerolling hits. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, and then one other thing I did in the core. No, nope, that's everything from the core. And then some other unique stuff I want to bring is I do have the three bed bugs. Um, you know, had those forever. <laughs> just painted those up, but I expect the best out of all my newly painted stuff. So. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, I also painted up some some hummels. Uh, I got three hummels. Had those. Repainted them because they, they were sitting there for years with a different scheme I didn't didn't like, and then um, again I, I don't know last time I, I almost thought they were going to get rid of them but they still have them I think it's the the uh, thirty eight T's that I think they're the off off locker I forget how you pronounce them but they're basically have the two centimeter gun on there I really like how those look mm -hmm. um, and then I just have a two two base uh, bulks. Um, uh, bulks uh, artillery, so it's the 10.5s. I only got two mainly because I want to have the 60% that could fit on the board. I want to get them on the board because I think last time I brought artillery and they didn't do anything because I had them in reserve. Right, right, right. 
And then um, I also got the, oh, I got a Panzer III uh, Observer. I really like Panzer III's. I probably should have spent it on Lucky, but you know, I kind of like bringing Panzer III on there just as Observer. And then another thing I never use, and I do like the old resin model of the Panzer IV 70s. Nice. So I always want to bring something that has some AT, so that was it the L70 gun. You know, I definitely need that for any sort of anti-tank. Which is AT-14, right? Yeah, and I yeah. think 40-inch range is, is pretty good for, for that. Oh, actually, another thing I forgot to mention in my cores, I did bring a Ford base. Um, it's either MG-34 um, uh, platoon. I think I'm using 42s in it, but, you know, mm -hmm. uh, same size. And I think that rounds out my list. Oh, the only thing I can say about the bulk training gears is they do have the SCG 44s, so that's kind of a, a nice thing. So just the MG teams or uh, K98 MG teams. Yeah, yeah. No, that's pretty cool. So you got lots of. I, I like the way your force is. It does feel very late late war Berlin. So you're uh, you're going to be defending a town. I mean, we decided that uh, Sean's going to be attacking. I mean, I'm going to be attacking. Sean's going to be defending. Um, and we'll, but we'll come back with the deployment and the mission after this. But uh, so hang tight and. State. The forces are deployed somewhere in or near Berlin, I suppose. The Soviet army is on the offensive and the Germans are on their back foot. Uh, we, we decided to play dogfight as the mission and dogfight uh, Germans are going to be defending. And we just kind of picked that thematically. You built kind of a defensive Berlin last stand type army mm -hmm. and I have more of an assaulty infantry army so it'll be really fun to kind of put these against each other. Um, so, Sean chose this table side to defend. Basically, he's got three feet of deployment zone. There are two objectives. Sean placed this one. I placed that Soviet objective over there. Um, I can win by taking an objective on any turn, and you can win by repulsing me or keeping me away from the objectives uh, on turn six out. So I've got to get close. Eventually, I can't hang back and bombard you the whole time um as far as deployment sean do you want to go over what's on the table here yep so i got my ss grenadiers in the front i try to put them a little bit further up so i have a little room if they get knocked yeah. back knocked back but this is the close one got all my minefields minefields are one two three four so you're really <laughs> you're really wanting to hold that objective yeah i didn't want to commit to it com totally but i think i put a little bit more here uh, I got the Volksturm kind of just behind them. I think they sort of balance each other out, just get some bodies there. Okay. I almost wanted my Volksgrenadiers there, but it probably won't happen. But they could move up with their assault rifles and maybe counterattack yes. another infantry These unit. Guys, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I have those back here, and I didn't want to leave my Hummels totally hanging back there because, um, you know, they're they're pretty usable and stuff like that. So I don't need them taken out like right away by something quick. Yeah. I had to put them in the woods because of Sturmovics. I don't need those taken yeah. out easily. Make, so. it, make it harder to hit because they are hit on fours to base. So it'd be hard for my, not impossible, but it makes it harder for the Sturmovics to go after them. And they're new, so no sense in risking them too much. Yeah. Or hopefully yeah. I'm not. And then I got the mortars up there. Uh, that's just so they have range. And I don't really mind them getting assaulted or anything right away just because, you know, at least maybe it's a distraction, unless they're just going that way anyways, but yeah. kind of just have those up there. Because these are the 8 centimeter, right? Yeah. Yeah, so they're only like 40 inch range. So that might not be totally correct, but I mean, they're, they're behind a building and stuff, yeah, yeah. but you know, I got them out there. Oh, I got my machine gun teams in here, so they're on oh, both yeah. floors. So that, um, hopefully they can help repel some infantry. I was actually kind of thinking they might not be so bad in this game as my ambush, but it's just kind of second nature to put my pack 40s in there. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So that's not not too bad about mad about that. Um, I got the my observer back here. Hiding there. Got Didn't it. have a, a great spot for him, but I think that will work out fine. And I got my bulks uh, artillery back here, mainly so they can just see down the road. Um, but yeah, hopefully they'll get in there, or maybe they'll get shot at. That'd be nice because uh, those guys are likely going to take a lot of a lot of hurt from they, the artillery. So. They see uh, they see you quite a lot down that road. <laughs> Yeah. So, <laughs> and then in ambush, you said you got your pack 40s, right? Yeah, my SS pack 40s. Gotcha. Okay, and then this is in reserve, reserve. Uh, which is about 40, what's that, 40 points, 42 points, something like that. All right, so over to the Soviet side. Oh, one thing to mention oh, yeah. is, mm -hmm. so the, another benefit of Volksturm and uh, uh, the Hitler Youth, or Yugen, um, is they don't count towards what's on the board. So I got basically like three or five points. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. So... That's even that's a that's a cool rule. I like that rule. Okay, over here I uh, can deploy up to sixteen inches up. I've got my um, Valentines, uh, one infantry platoon or company, the one hundred twenty millimeter mortars, 
the Observer, IS-2s, Battalion Commander, 2nd Company of Infantry, 3rd Company of Infantry, I've got the BA-64 Scout cars over there, and then I've got uh, a bunch of artillery, the big guns, the small mortars, the 80, 81 millimeter mortars, and then the 76s. That is a correction for my army list. Originally I had 57 millimeter um, in there, but I wanted the cover of smoke card, so I need to have the 76 millimeter artillery as uh, like basically attacks. They can bombard, but they don't have the same AT, so I, I didn't feel bad sticking them way back. Um, I get the first turn, and I do have Sturmovix orbiting, waiting to be called down uh, to deliver some hurt. So we'll see, but we're going to go into Soviet turn one. Using my uh, under the cover of smoke, my 76 millimeter artillery does put its line of smoke right there, kind of hiding that so my guys can get closer before you start tearing me up. Don't know how much good it'll do, but that's there until your end of your turn two. Well, my propaganda is I'm telling my troops, we put that smoke there. <laughs> we have control. <laughs> Ultimately, it'll probably help you more, but we'll, we'll see. Okay. Um, starting step, I need to see if my airplanes come in. That's the only other thing I need to do. So the airplanes will be arriving on a 4+. plus. Let's see some Sturmoviks, if I pronounce it correctly. Maybe they're more inclined to arrive. No, they are not. Okay, well, maybe, maybe next turn. Maybe next turn. I was just telling Sean that my last battle I used them, they, they came in like once whole game. Uh, so those Hummels can breathe a sigh of relief because they might be their target even buried in the woods. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and move, and then we're gonna we're gonna unleash hell. I mean, unleash heck. This is a family-friendly channel. All right, uh, first up, the 120 millimeter mortars are going to fire their bombardment here. The observer armored car can see that spot, so there's no penalty. So I'm hitting you on threes because you guys are hit on threes. There's no other penalty there. Um, there are six teams that are under the template. He just I just barely miss him. So um, I'll just go ahead and roll threes, and you can assign the hits however you want. I assume all these teams are identical. But he's right? a Panzer Shrek, so you might want to. Oh, so one. we'll do his separate. All right, so we got three hits there, and then the Panzer Shrek is also hit. So you can assign those hits however you want, or if you want to make saves for those, and then then decide which guys die, if any. Um, is everything under the template, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so except him, he's out. Oh, okay. So I'll just do. Oh, well, the, I think that those are all hit. He's a Panzer Shrek also, but I'll just okay. say he was hit. Um, okay. Okay, so I'll do, I'll go from here over, one, two, three, so. Okay. Uh, three up. Oops. Ooh, uh, three up. Good. Three up. Good. Three up. Okay, so this guy's potentially awesome. dead, and this guy, three up. Okay. And then, I think the 160 millimeters of three up firepower, but it's not a one. They are pinned. So they're pinned, but they survived the bombardment. Next turn, the Bavarma gets a little bit more nasty for them. And then uh, we'll go to this one. i got to figure out how many are under the template. 20 mit, 120, no, 203 millimeter uh, artillery guns are going to be bombarding there. They've got four of the uh, gray base teams and then two of the, are those the Volks? No, those are the SS. Yep, SS and Volkssturm. So uh, I've got two dice for those two guys. We'll just kind of hit them. Because I can't see that spot, it's plus one to hit, so... I'm making your guys veteran for the turn, so here is a, uh, a four up to hit. So we got one of the two SS guys. All right. And then we got three of the Volkstrom guys. All right. And then uh, if you want to make your saves. All right. I'll say he was hit because the dice was far that way. Okay. So three up. He's good. And then I'll start from you to me. So three up, three up, and three up. Oh, okay. So they're good, but uh, those two units are both pinned down as well. And then I have the 40 millimeter, or sorry, the 81 millimeter mortars. Got to figure out where they're going to go. All right, the 81 millimeter mortars are just going to try to range in right there into that minefield. Um, if I'm successful, I'd only cover two teams, but it is what it is. That's the best shot they've got right now. So I'm going to attempt to range in. I'm not covering any tall terrain, um, except for the smoke. So I guess the smoke gives you cover too. So. I think I need a five up to range in, and I got it. And then I'm going to hit you on threes, and just those first two teams. We got both of them hit, All so right. that's two more saves on that front row. Do this one first. Three up, pack one, 
And then I think it's a 5-up or 4-up. It's definitely not a 3-up firepower for 81 millimeter mortars. So uh, that's it. Well, hey, they're pinned. So that's uh, Soviet turn one. So on to German turn one. See what you can do. No one down yet. That's no one do. down. <laughs>
no. Do I want to spend a... I really need to keep bombarding. Do I want to spend lucky? I don't need to spend lucky this early, do I? Yeah, yeah, I do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend lucky, Sean. I think you get more value out of it yeah. use it early, so... No. I, actually, wait, I think so. But I'll double check. And then the 81 millimeter mortars... No. Okay. So I think that's all of that. Do I get airplanes? Four up. Yeah. No. Okay. All right, we're, we're off to a good start here. Movements over. Valentines continue their their move up the flank. The IS-2s rolled up to that hedge to kind of see your inner sanctum here. Uh, the infantry platoon or companies that you did not pin down have advanced. Two teams from that platoon successfully moved into the minefield, that one minefield, so that if they're still there next turn, they can remove that minefield, which would be nice. Um, these guys obviously stayed put because they failed. And then um, I've got some artillery bombardments except my 81 millimeter mortars, but everyone else can fire. And uh, we will do that right now. Uh, I'm gonna start with the big guns right there again. I didn't kill anybody last time, but I had I think it was four of the Volksturm and two of the SS, right? Yep. Under the template. So we'll just do that again. Um, I'm hitting you on fours because I can't see that range end spot again. So here's the SS. Oh, I got both of those guys this time. And then here are the Volksturm, the four. And we got one of those guys. But now you're re-rolling your saves. All right. Do this one first. Okay. Three ups. Oh, he's good. This one, uh, three ups, failed. Okay. And then it was one of these guys, one right? One of those guys, yeah. Three ups, they're good. Okay. And it's a two up firepower. We got him. All right, so, yay, new unit syndrome. First they, they killed something, first blood, yeah. Uh, okay. Um, then we're going to, the the big guns, the 60, or sorry, the 120 millimeter mortars are going to rearrange over here. You know what I forgot is there's six guns there, so I re-roll my failed hits um, when I do that. Okay. And, uh, should we do a little movie magic to get that? Or? Nah, nah, that's fine. I forgot, so that's my penalty. Yeah, it's the same thing, except this guy I'm covering everybody. So I hit you on threes because I can actually see that spot. There are two Panzer Shrek's in there? Yeah, so one here and the one here. Okay, so I'll do those separate. Closest to you. This is to me. Those are both hit. And then the four rifle teams. I don't care which ones you do. I only got one of those. Uh, so it is... Oh, but I re-roll my uh, failed hits because I have six guns. So I converted that to two more. And then you are re-rolling your saves. All right. Both Panzer Shreks are hit, right? Yeah, both Panzer Shreks and then uh, three other teams. All right. So first Panzer Shrek, uh, closest to you. Okay. Uh, closest to me. Good. And then it was three of the regular guys, three right? Three of the regular guys. Yeah. All right, so I do that. There. He's good. Next one. Uh, one regular one possible. And the other oh, Okay, your saves are pretty good. Uh, this is a three up firepower, so here's the Shrek. Hi -ya. No, and another guy. Yes. So one regular rifle. One right? regular rifle, yeah. Okay. 26 millimeter artillery is going to try to range in here. Like right about here, if successful, he's going to hit these two and that guy. Um, I need to range in. This is my second attempt because my scout car is providing the range in attempt. So normally it's a three, so a four to range in. And we got it. And then we're going to hit these guys normally on threes, but fours because it's a, the second attempt. So they're both hit. And then that one guy standing by himself is not hit. So you got uh, just your normal saves there. All right, I'll just do how the dice lie. Okay. Uh, so I failed one, I think this is the closer one down here. Right? Okay. So I think that guy. And then so. I believe it's a three up firepower. Yeah. yeah. I should have brought my crater terrain. <laughs> right, we could use craters. Uh, so that pins down your mortars, which maybe will be helpful. And I do have the IS-2s. I guess they're gonna fire um, they're gonna put their three main gun shots into the Volks Grenadiers, or Volks, whatever they are. 
they're Volk something, right? Uh, Volk Storm. So they're going to put their three main guns into those guys because they're dug in. Um, normally, you're hit on threes, fours for concealment, fives for gone to ground, six because I moved. And it's slow firing. Giant gun. All right, here we go. <laughs> no. And I knocked over one of my Valentines. Uh, and I think that's all my shooting. So on to German turn two. Pinning. Okay, we're gonna start over here with the SS. All right, Whoa. three up. Hey. And then I'll do the Volkssturm. Volkssturm. No. And then I'll do the SS mortars. Which is, I'm assuming, a three up as well. Yep. And, and Volks Grenadiers, five up. Yep. Okay. All right, and then uh, you're not popping your ambush, so we're going to movement as it were, and then some shooting. Movement, so shooting. We're gonna repeat bombardment over here. We got so much stuff under the template. Let's just do that off camera. And uh, we'll come back with uh, your results. Okay. Okay. The results were um, you pinned down all the artillery again, but you only killed one 81 millimeter mortar team. Uh, next artillery bombardment, you're going to try to range in right there. Yeah. You're not going to be covering any smoke, so um, normally you'd range in on a three, but since he helped with that repeat bombardment, this is going to be the second attempt, so you're going to range in on a four. So is it, actually, I think it'd be. Okay, yeah, four. Because they're, they're a skill up of three, right? No, I think th th those guys skill up three. These guys are four, so it's going to be four. Four, and then five for a second attempt. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, no, so shouldn't it be four for a second? It, it's just going to start off and be hitting you on four instead of threes, right? So it counts as, like, the second attempt of a bombardment, so, like, you failed the first attempt or you, you used it over here. Oh, right, so, but, so I just have two chances to do it you on You just have fours. two. Well, you would... So you, what's your, your skill for that artillery? So I should be doing it on four up. So your first attempt would be a four, your second attempt would be a five, your third attempt would be... No, no, that's right. So it would just be fi uh, fives, because... No, I'm kidding. No, sorry. I, sorry. So four, yeah, so four up to range in there. All right, got only two attempts. And third attempt. Got it. He'll help me the second time. So those guys are normally hit on threes, this is where I was confused. So now they're hit on fives, because it's the third attempt adds plus two. All right. And you covered, what, three of them? Yep. Three teams? Okay. So I'll start back here. I'll roll two dice. So it's going to be uh, fives. Nope. Second okay. set. You, you actually didn't hit the commissar this time. And then right here. Okay. That guy? He's, he's good. Okay. Uh, I hit two. Did you roll two dice? Oh, you hit two? Uh, Sorry, you rolled twelve. Oh, you know what? My bad. No, you're good. Yeah, That's so it. that failed, that failed. So you only got one, right? Because you're rolling two. Yeah, I was thinking it was a repeat for some reason, gotcha. even though it was a reverse. I only have two guns. Okay. Gotcha. And then the third bombardment. All right, so I'm going to try to rearrange it. I'm going to go ahead and have the SS range in over here. So, like, up there somewhere? Yeah. Okay. So uh, their skill is going to be a four up. Okay. First attempt. Oops. Second attempt. Third attempt. Nope. Yeah, okay. They did not like having to move their barrels. And with that, that's everything, right? You're not, I'm assuming you're not assaulting, or, oh, no, you're too far away to assault. So maybe right there if you wanted to. But I'm probably not a good idea. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think I'll do anything, because uh, I'll lose on the ground. I don't know if I can see through that, but I want to shoot anyways, because it'll only be, like, maybe those two, but. Gotcha. Okay, um, so with that, actually, you could, if you're within six inches, you could shoot. I think I don't want to give up gone to ground just for like two guys shooting. That's, that's so. true. Yeah. Okay. Uh we're going to unpin. Uh, we're going to unpin over here. Four up with a reroll. No. Okay. Uh, you didn't hit those guys. You did pin those guys. Because um, you did score a couple hits over there, or one hit over there. Yeah, I think it's one hit. Uh, but it's enough to pin him down, so let's see three up, because you did not kill the Commissar. Whew, okay. And then over here, we're unpinning the big guns. We're unpinning the um, 81 millimeter mortars, and then did you, yeah, you hit the 76 millimeter. Okay. And then airplanes. You know, I'm going to make my own luck and make my airplanes come in. Ha! Huh? So that's an automatic roll of a four. And with that, that's uh, we're going to go into Soviet movement. All right, Soviet movement is done. The Valentine's moved up. I'm going to get a shot at one Hummel over there through the trees. Um, 
I've got some infantry that has moved up. I removed one minefield um, to see what we can do to that infantry squad up there. If we can't pin them though, I don't think we're gonna be assaulting. Then over there, unfortunately, my big guns did not uh, unpin this turn. Uh, they have a four up morale. Uh, but the 76 millimeters will be firing as well, so we've got some fire to go. Let's start with, oh, sorry, the armored cars are continuing their flanking maneuver that side. They're going to do this, and then your reserves are going to roll in and destroy them in, in one go, I bet. We're going to try to range in the 76 millimeter artillery, um, kind of right smack dab in the middle, see if we can kind of grab everybody with that, where that template is. Oh, you've got it. You want to check to see if I can... Uh, readjust it, or... Yeah, so we're going to go back here somewhere. That red one is the big guns that can't fire anymore. Okay, so I think if you do this, if you can get here, that's everybody in that okay. squad. And this I don't think you can quite... Yeah, I, th I just want to go after everybody in that squad. Okay. All right, and then uh, that doesn't cover terrain, right? Does not. Okay. So I will range in on a 4+. plus. Oh, yeah. Got it. All right, we're going to do this uh, off camera because you got a bunch of people there. You managed to hit, uh, or you made saves for four guys. I hit four guys, but... Uh, you only filled one armor, but I couldn't make my firepower, so that's par for the course. And that bombardment was, this marker is now there. Okay, over here we're repeating bombardment again, so hopefully we'll get some more guys this time. We only uh, killed one guy last time, so we have basically five teams under the template, uh, two Shrek teams. So we'll go for those. I'm re-rolling my successful, I mean my failed hits, so we'll go there first. So he's hit, he's hit. So both Shrek teams take a hit, and then three other uh, infantry teams. One, two, th uh, one, two, three. Yes, yes, and yes. Okay, so they're all hit, and so you're re-rolling successful saves. All right, okay, so I'll do the Shrek uh, closest to you. Okay. Uh, hoping it's the case in there. So he's good. He's good, yeah. Shrek closest to me. He's good. Okay. And then closest to you, regular. Okay. Middle guy uh, failed, and then closest to me failed. Okay. So three up firepower for your first failure and your second failure. Well, I killed the first guy. Boom. That's still so sad. You know, you're, you're only supposed to pass a one or fail one out of three armor saves or infantry saves. I'm always practicing that roll. Fundamental, I, baby. I did not do that <laughs> over the, the week. So, uh, okay, so that's my artillery. So I think I'm going to go with the Sturmovix next. Let's see what we can do to some Hummels. All right, I'm actually going to go with my Valentines first. Uh, I'm going to shoot at this guy. He's at short range. He's the only one I can see. Uh, the two two-pounders are going to hit on fives. And then the six pounder is going to hit on a six because it's overworked. So the two pounder is anti tank seven. Okay. Uh, so I don't know what your front armor is. Two. Okay, so let's see a six to bounce it. So it's a pen, and I believe it is a four up. Yeah, it's a four up firepower. Oh, yeah. So he's bailed out. Sturmovics are swooping in and firing. Um, each one gets two shots with their 37 millimeter cannon, Sean. Uh, normally you're hit on fours. It's going to be fives because you are concealed in the woods. So let's see if the concealment helps you. And we got one hit, which we will go on the guy closest to them. It's eight versus whatever your side is. Just one. Okay, so you can't stop it. And I think it's a four up firepower. It's not a two, so we bail out another one. The IS-2s are going to fire at the Volkstrom. Three shots. Uh, this time I need fives. And we got two hits. We're going to put it on the first two if you want to try to swap them. Mm, I guess I'll try to swap them to the back. Okay. So do the closest to you. Three up. Nope. And then second closest. All right. Okay. So. Uh, so I'll do the closest one that I couldn't swap. I'm going to re-roll because I think it's brutal. Yeah, brutal. So three up. Okay. Nope. Yeah. And then the one I moved to the back. Okay, so uh, two up firepowers. First guy, of course, a one and a one. <sighs> I, 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 practice, I practice my rules. <laughs> <laughs> That's not helping me. Okay. Uh, and uh, I think I've got some machine gun shooting because I need to pin down that infantry if I'm going to try to assault. SMG company, these guys right there, they're going to be firing their SMGs. i got 12 shots, hitting on five because you have not uh, done anything. You've, you've, you're still hiding in your foxholes. 
All right, so we got three hits so far, and we're going to put those on the back row. One, two, three. All right. A little bit too close to swap, so. Just Closest to you. Three up. Good. Closest to me. Good. And there were three hits. Oh, my yeah. bad. Then, uh, not sure where this one is. We'll figure that out. Okay, don't need to. You know, you're supposed to fail one out of three. That's not how I do. <laughs> that's, not, that's not how you roll. Okay, and then I got uh, six shots from the other other platoon. I need two hits to pin you down. And we only got one. And we'll put it on uh, that guy. All right. Uh, let's do that three-up save. Can I get a six to kill you? Hey, okay. I plinked him out. All right. So that's just your commander, so you can swap them with anybody. All right, I think I'll zoom into the back one. <laughs> to the back. And... You know, I think with that, unfortunately, those guys aren't pinned. They put out uh, three shots each in defensive fire. Is that right? Oh, the double Something shot. like that. But I think that's a little bit too much for me to assault into. So with that, we might uh, be going into German turn three. See if you can get some of those tasty, tasty reinforcements. Well, the German turn. Let's do some unpinning, shall we? Shall we? Okay, Volkssturm, five up. Okay. Volks Grenadiers, five up. Yep. That's these guys back here. Yep. Okay. And then. Uh, oh, Bell's out right here. Oh, yeah, we got a couple. So I'm lucky these guys are fearless. Um, I'll do closest to you first. All right, three, three up. up. He's and good. Closest to me. Oh, I shouldn't do that. So he's good. Okay. Well, at least I got you down to a two gun battery, and that's pretty good. And then uh, you pop your ambush there, which. Should have happened after, but it's fine because it doesn't really affect anything. And then um, reserve time. Can you get a five up for some tasty reserves? No. Okay, not this turn. All right, uh, and then uh, we'll let you do movement and shooting. With the repeat bombardment over here, we're going to, again, do that off camera. Uh, you are down to two guns, though, because one of them didn't get back in. So we'll do that off camera, come back with the results. Down to two guns, apparently really, really helped. Uh, you didn't hit anybody. So um, on to, so you're gonna be doing some ranging in and hitting over here, mm -hmm. trying to get uh, maximize the amount of pinning you can do. Uh, so we'll let you figure that out. We'll do it off camera and come back with uh, the death toll afterwards. All ready to mark a bunch of guys dead, but uh, you couldn't hit anybody yeah. with, with either bombardment. My dice filling arms getting tired. <laughs> well, those are big dice. All right, so uh, you are ranged in here, and you are ranged in somewhere back over there. I'm not sure where that ranged marker went, but um, yeah. So, um, any do you, you want to open up and fire with your newly revealed pack forties? Um, you know what? It might actually not be worth shooting. Uh, I think I'll just keep the gun to ground. I just want to get him out there just in case I need some defensive fire and assault. I need to get him out there. As yeah, soon as you get yeah. too close, I won't even be able to use him. Uh, so gotcha. I can pull those out. Okay. And then I do not think there'll be any shooting here. Don't want to give up that yeah. gun to ground. Don't want to give up so, that yeah, gun to ground. All right, so on to uh, Soviet turn four. So, I've ro rolled four dice so far and failed. I couldn't get a single four up out of four dice. Let's see if we can do it again. Hey, okay. Nice. They're in pit. <laughs> okay. Over there. Let's see if I can get my big guns. Hey, the big guns are unpinned. And the 81 millimeter mortars. Nope, they're going to stay pinned. Then, airplanes. I, I have no, long, no more cards to make these airplanes happen, Sean. So, let's see if I can just roll a natural four plus. Yay! Okay, planes are in. We're going back after those Hummels, I have a feeling. Uh, and then uh, then I'll do my movement. All right, uh, Russian movement is pretty much done. The only thing that really happened, these guys moved forward. I failed to follow me order, so those. And then uh, the armored cars are continuing their flanking maneuver. They are now driving past the um, Panzer III Observer and, uh, I don't know, giving him a Soviet salute. And then the... Sturmovics are going to go round two, see if they can deal with this guy. But these guys stay put, so full rate of fire. I want to kill that Hummel. We're going to do that shooting first. So you ready for this? Yep. Okay, so we got four shots of two-pounder goodness coming at you. Again, hitting you on fives. Nope. And then two shots of six-pounder goodness. Yep. 
Okay, well, glad we doubled up there. Then over here we've got four shots from the 37 millimeters looking for fives. Okay, we got two. So we're going to go on the two undamaged uh, ones. Okay. You can't stop them, so I believe it's a four of firepower, him and then him. No, and yes. I'm going to go with the 203 millimeter artillery. They're going to try to range in in the same exact spot that the 76 millimeter artillery is ranged in. So basically, I want to cover that whole platoon. So I'm going to range in on a four. You ready for this? First attempt. Hey, we got it. So since there's so many guys there, we'll do this uh, off camera. Three millimeter artillery claimed uh, two, two infantry stands. Now the 76 millimeter artillery is gonna repeat bombardment there. So again, we'll go off camera and read all this. And, uh, one more, so we, we killed three of those guys. Uh, next up, the 120 millimeter mortars are gonna range in or re-range in over here and just repeat bombardment. Uh, so here, we're. We still have two Shrek teams, which we're hitting on threes. And I don't need to re-roll them because I hit. And then I got one, two, so only I have two of regular teams. I guess we've been killing these guys. This guy is hit, and that guy is hit. So all four of your teams are hit, Sean, if you want to make uh, re-rolling saves for them. All right, I'll be closest to you on the Panzer Shrek. Okay. He's good. good. Okay. Panther track. Yeah. And then it was two more teams? Yeah, the this infantry one. and then the small infantry. Jeez. I'm back, what baby. I'm back. All right, three up. I got him. I think that was the first track or something like that. Okay, so those guys are pinned. Oh, they stayed pinned. All game. All game. Okay, over here, um, this guy is going to machine gun over there into the infantry. So it's going to be four machine gun shots hitting on fives. These two will put their main guns into the books. All right, so we got two machine gun hits. Boom, boom. And then two main gun at the gray team. So we got one hit over there, which will go to that closer guy. All right, so if you want to do the, the brutal gun on the closer guy. All right. And so Was it this guy? Uh, no, it's this guy. this guy. Yeah, the other platoon. Okay, two up firepower to kill him. Yep. Oh, I saw that one for a second. <laughs> me too, me too. And then uh, the, the two machine gun hits up there. All right, closest to you, three up, and Good. closest to me. Good. All right. So now we're going to open up with the uh, SMGs. We got six and eight, nine, ten. We need two more dice. There they are. Oh, two hits so far, right? Two hits so far. We're looking for fives. And we got one, which we'll put on the second row, if you want to make that save for him. All right. Uh, I do have a Shrek there, so I don't know if you want to put it on the Shrek. Yeah, we'll put it on the Shrek. And I don't think I can... You can't it. swap it that way. So, uh, Just three up. Can I get another six? No. And then the uh, regular infantry company, six shots. So I've got three hits so far. I need two of these again. Got it. Hey, okay, we got three. So we're gonna do uh, one, two, three. All right, closest to you. Yeah. Again, oh, okay. Can I get another six? No. Yeah. Okay, but I did what I needed to do, which was pin you. So let's go ahead, and uh, it's not gonna get any better for assaults. It's a bad idea, Sean, but uh, IS-2 is going to assault. That's the only guy who was within the assault distance. So you've got some defensive fire. All right. So um, you're going to hit me with, let's see, you got two Fausts and one Shrek, Shrek team. So if you want to do, I don't know, whichever one you want to do first. I guess I'll do the two uh, Fausts. Okay. So you're hitting me on fours because you're pinned. All right. Four ups. Again with the, okay. And one with the Shrek on a three. Okay. It's normally two shots. But still, gotcha, gotcha. It's, it's one shot because you're pinned. Uh, so I need to make lots of armor saves. So what's the AT on these guys? Uh, so the Shreks are 12 and the, or no, the Shrek is 11 and the Faust is 12. So there's two Faust hits, right? Mm. Okay, so we'll do those 
those two first. So my side armor is eight, so I need fives to bounce. So a pen and a possible bail. Do the pen first. Five up. Five up. Now you blew them up. Okay, well, I guess that takes care of assault number one. Splatoon's going to assault. Really, those two teams are the only ones there. I'm trying to limit some defensive fire. But you're still going to get at least, what's that, ten shots? Yeah, I think they're going to be... Um, I think they actually might be in range. There's only one shot, though. So 11 shots. All right, I'm just hoping you're going to roll really poor because it's not an infantry save. Those three. are so big, you think you can hold 11? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can hold basketball. <laughs> okay, well, I think I'm pinned. So you hit me eight times, is that right? Yep. Okay, well, we'll come back after I make a, or tr attempt to make my saves. They're pinned down, so I'm not going to go with my uh, SMG guys yet because I need to do something here to, to stop this. All right, uh, on to Soviet. i got to pull back, but then it'll be Soviet turn four. German turn four. German turn four. And two dice in reserve, so hopefully you'll get something. Okay, Sean, we got some uh, unpinning to do. Where are we going to start? All right, uh, Fearless SS, three up. <laughs> okay. Then unpin these guys, five up. Okay. And then Volks Grenadiers, five That's up. these guys over here. Nope. No. And then right. we got my two Hummels left. All okay, right. Closest to you, three up. Closest to me. Good. And then three up. Oof. All right, so that's a gotta test. See. They'll stay. Three up. Three up test. Okay, they stay. But you're down to one gun. And I think that's it as far as unpinning and tests. So two dice for reserves. All right. Let me get this right here. Five up. Nope. Oh, okay. So on to uh, German movement. So we get some artillery uh, for the Germans. You're going to repeat your bombardment over there with just one gun now. Uh, we'll do that off camera again because it's still a ton of stuff under the template. Over there, uh, the results were one destroyed big gun and one mortar. And then we're going to repeat a bombardment over there. Uh, there's only, what, four teams under there? Uh, yeah. Okay, so if you would just want to roll those, we can do those on camera. Okay, uh -huh. uh, so I'll start here and wrap around. Gotcha. Oh, no. Get those ones out of the way here. One, three ups, oh, and then see one more three up, baby. Come on, oh, there you go. Three up, okay. He saved, but you pinned him down, which is what you wanted, right? Yep, all right. And then you're going to try to range in somewhere about here to cover the command teams as well as that platoon. All right, five ups, got it. Uh, uh -huh. hits here, so it'd be threes, and then threes here. Back right here. I don't think oh, you need uh -huh. to re-roll your successful hits because oh, it's sorry. four guns, right? Okay, so I think but I hit... hit everybody. Okay. Oh no, no with this one I need to re-roll uh, because I had a hit and a mess. So oh. uh, one one dice. Okay. So just two hits over here. Uh, yeah, one on each because I okay. think I pulled double hits. And save. And they're already pinned down. Okay. Um, any other shooting? That is it. Okay. On to uh, Soviet turn six. The, the uh, Soviet turn. I'm going to unpin my big guns over there. Four up. No. The little mortars. No. The infantry platoon over there. Yes. The infantry platoon right here. Yes. The. That's it. Okay. So on to movement. All right, Sean. Movement's done. These guys continue to move forward. Oh, I forgot to roll to see if I get airplanes. Four up. Hey. And then uh, these guys moved up, these guys moved up, those guys just shifted around to try to make an assault if possible, those guys stayed put, they're just waiting for the word to go in. And uh, the IS-2s drove around to get me a clear shot at some maybe assaulting right there. And then um, that's about it. So let's go ahead and with the IL-2s, where do I want to go with them? I need to think for a minute. First up we're going to repeat the 76mm artillery bombardment right there. There's still five teams under the template. So we're going to try to hit those five teams, Sean. Uh, I'm hitting you on um, threes. Let's do the first row, just like we've been doing before. Oops. The second row has two teams in it. And the third row just has one team in it. Okay, so this, the middle row is safe, but the first row and the second row are all hit. All right. And then you're rerolling your saves. Closest to you. Okay. No. 
Yeah. Closest to me. Yes. Good. Rear guy. In the back. All right, let's see if I can get the guy in the front. Yes, and the guy in the back. No. Slowly, oh, if only my big guns could have repeated again. Over here, we're going again with the 120 uh, millimeter artillery. I've got basically just three teams under the template now. The two Trek teams and him. I'll just do one, two, three. Uh, one, two, three. And then re-roll your saves. For those chaps, if you don't mind, we'll go back over here. I'll just do closest to you, then okay. to me. Nope. And good. Good. And we killed the guy closest to me. So he is no more. And over there. <laughs> I guess we're just gonna yeah, we'll take all the shots. There's a whole bunch of shots with a firepower of six plus. I'm probably not gonna kill anybody, but it's a lot of dice. Let's go ahead and roll that off camera. We're gonna fire into that pack 40. Uh, the two two pounders need sixes, and then the one six pounder needs a six because he's at short range. So I got one hit. If you wanna make a save for him, all right. I mean, you could swap it to try to swap it on a three up. Okay. Yep. yep. And then pass that save with three up. Okay. And then over here, we got four shots. We're going after those Hummels again. Let's see if the Sturmowicz can seal the deal on this platoon finally. No. They, they're doing worse every time. It doesn't help if you guys come in, but you can't hit anything. All right. Uh, so let's go with... Oh boy, jeez. Let's try. I feel like I'm gambling. Let's try this assault again. So if you want to do your defensive fire, which I think was 11 shots, right? Yeah, so uh, 8, 10, 11, yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's see, a whopping 11. Can you get less than, uh, what was it, 8 hits? <laughs> get my arm up. <laughs> so 3. Uh, well, you still pin me. All right, so is that 4? So what is that, 7? Seven. Seven? Hey, it's one less than last time. All right, the first two that are in base contact... Uh, one's dead. Yeah. And then the last five are going to go one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's one for each. One, two. Oh, well, one's dead. Three. So the one, one, two, three, four, five is okay. And so the, com the commander will swap with that and you kill two guys, including the commissar this time, which is enough to pin them down again. All right, well, that didn't work. Let's try this. Hiya. You want to take your defensive fire shots now? Yeah, I think, I, let's see if this is four inches. I think that's pretty close. Yeah, I think that's four inches right there. Okay. And then this is, I don't know if that looked like eight to you. I think you can tuck it in more yeah. to avoid that. Okay. Uh, so I think I'll get two from here, just because the limit, and then this guy will still get a Shrek, and then uh, the one Shrek from here. All right, let's see it. Okay, so one, two. You gotta miss with three. some of these weapons at some point. Uh, three Shreks, or yeah, or Shrek Faust. Oh, okay, you got two. And then one with the Shrek. Okay, so let's see if I can bounce these. These are the 11s or 12s? Uh, the 12s. Okay, so that's a pen and a possible bail. Let's do that pen first, five up. Oh, double bailed. Bailed. Oh, oh, it oh. is double bailed. So do I? I pass my morale check. So he's bailed, but he's going to come back two inches, or just out of uh, assault range. John, we're going to have to go. We're going to try to assault with these guys. We'll do that because that minefield, I think, restricts me any other way. All right. So I think you get the same number of shots. Maybe an extra one from that. Yeah, just Close. here, I think. Yeah, yeah, an eight. That's too far. Yeah. So that'd be 11 before it's 12. 11 now. more, yeah. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, oh, 11. Right. Just waiting for you to whiff. Just right. once. Uh, three. Okay, that's not whiffing. Yeah, that's pretty good as usual. Okay, so one, eight. five, six, seven, eight. I think there's only eight teams there. Here's the two that are in base contact. Good. And then the other six will just be closest to you, then towards me. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, well, they 
veil, but I mean, they're repulsed and pinned down, but at least you didn't kill anybody. And with that, that's the end of the uh, Soviet turn. Get some infantry, shall we? Get some SS, three up. Hey. Volkstrom, five up. Hey. Folks Grenadiers, five up. Nope. Yeah. And then let's try to bail that guy back in on a three up. Yeah. And then they're good. Okay. So then uh, reserves, you get three dice, so one's coming in automatically. Five ups. Okay, so you get two in. Well, who are you bringing in? Uh, I for sure will bring in the Panzer 470s, and okay. oof, it's pretty close on the... Bed bugs or the off long ones because they kind of are the off locker. I don't know. I might need the shots. So okay. So roll for the Panzer four seventy. See where they're coming in. Uh, one, two, or three, four, five. Or wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. All right. So Here. back edge. And, and then uh, I think I'll have to bring in the the middle the off locker or whatever, so I can get some shots in. More shots in. Uh, back same. Two. Okay. Well, we'll let you do all your movement. and We'll come back for German shooting. All right, uh, German movement's done. You want to go over where uh, where you did your moving, Sean? So I got the two in. I brought it over here. I can't get within close range. Just need to do something now. Shoot them. Here, these guys actually a little action. Maybe they can knock out some of these little cars. Okay. And then cars. everything kind of has to just stay, stay put. Okay, so you're repeating bombardment over here. So we're going to do that again off camera. All right, so the trailer bombardment didn't kill anybody over there. So we're going to do some repeat bombardments here. Is that right? Uh, oh, there, one here. people mark. And there's four under the template, right? Yep. Okay. If you want to go ahead and make your rolls. So this is from the... Volks. Uh, Volks. So these ones are re-rolling their hits as well. So threes. And then threes. Nope. Here. Nope. And let's do that last blue hat guy. Nope. Okay. And then you're going to try to re-range in over here. Yep. So I can see there. I think I'll just kind of bump it down. It'll still be in terrain, so... Now you can't uh, be too far, because you won't be able to see past this. So, you know what? I think I'll go ahead and just try to... Try to go there? Yeah. Okay. Just try to do it in the middle. All right. Uh, Force. You got it. So, I think just one here and one here. Okay. Sounds good. Oops. This guy, um... I have three. Okay, three on. Nope. And then four guy. So, that's this guy. There, oh, you kill him. Of course you do, and uh, that pins that unit down. And they were pinned for a while, so... All right, uh, next up for shooting. All right, uh, I'll just... I guess I'll do these four uh, to here. the highest twos? Yeah. All right, long range, uh, just hit me on uh, fours. All right. And you got three hits. So I assume you went two on the active tank, right? Uh, sure. Okay. So it's uh, AT... 14. Uh, uh, 11, or 14 versus my front armor, 11 goes to a 12. So, roll ones will penetrate. Okay, so we got one penetrate, three up. And then the other guy, the bailed out guy, okay. Okay, so that's the IS-2s destroyed. Next up. Uh, they're not shooting, they're shooting. I think, oh wait, these guys will go ahead and shoot their oh, two no. centimeters into those little uh, right. cars. How many shots do they get each? Oof, let me double we'll, check. We'll check sure. that out. All right, uh, the little, your little tanks are shooting at my little armored cars. Just hit me on threes. You got, uh, what's that, two hits? And it's AT, what did you say? Five. Five, and that's uh, side armor one. So whichever ones you want to hit, I, I don't care which ones you kill. You kill whichever ones you want. Um, you make one. So one possible bail and one pen. Okay, so that pen first, five up. Bailed. And the bail. Uh, nothing. So one destroyed. Any other shooting? Uh, nope. Um, shot, shot, shot everything here. No, I think that is everything. Okay. And it's just one bail, too. Yeah, just, just one bail. So I don't even bother with that. With my IS-2s destroyed, I think we can call the game here. I don't think there's any way I'll be able to push onto that objective with all the stuff that you've got coming. Next turn, my infantry will be eating so much machine gun fire. Uh, that... I'm calling it a game. Good game, Sean. Congratulations on your hard-earned victory. All right, let's go into a quick uh, post-game show, shall we? Uh, oh, gosh. Okay, one, your infantry saves. They're killing me. I'm not killing you. That's my problem. Yeah, I like to play infantry because they're less swingy. Mm -hmm. um, also, like, I really kind of am better at not moving, even though I prefer to attack. So all the stuff I have coming in the future is attacking infantry. Attacking. So 
hopefully uh, sometime in the future I'll have some other stuff for Team Yankee and uh, Flames of War. Uh, well, I had some pretty bad luck. My Stormbook's not coming in for the first uh, three turns. Uh, not unpinning those uh, big guns like half of the game after you pinned them. Uh, this infantry was pinned for two turns, even with re-rolls, or they should be a lot closer to that objective. Um, and over there, I just couldn't get through with those guys not being able to kill hardly anyone with uh, with bombardments. Again, I think probably that cover of smoke helped you, you more than me. I probably should have just bombarded everything onto those guys for the first few turns and thinned them out. I think so, too, because I kind of would have put smoke somewhere here if you didn't do that, because... Uh... Honestly, the infantry, I just try not to move them. If they're kind of not in a great spot, yeah. I still just leave them yeah. and uh, just don't shoot back. And after a uh, last turn, you probably should have opened up with these guys and, you know, gotten 15 or 30, you know, 15, 18 shots into my infantry that are not dug in. But it didn't really matter much in the end. And then just to add insult to injury, two, two ones on armor rolls, uh, gosh, for IS-2s. Uh, I need Sam to give me more IS-2 lessons on how to, how to play with IS-2s uh, successfully. Those guys drove six turns to get over there to do something cool, and then all of a sudden the entire German army shows up right next to I'm us. Sorry to like, get the ah! <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry to get the bed bugs in. Uh, I was a little afraid they would be out of range to get them on, and I wasn't. Let's show them off anyway, because they're really cool looking. Yeah, they nice little resin kit. They're tiny, too, like if you look mm -hmm. at the comparison. Easy to worry, basically right. hide. Uh, so. Keep moving. <laughs> okay, oh, <later>. sorry. <laughs> it's like it, it's disappearing. Oh, yeah, it is tiny. Um, but yeah, sorry I couldn't get those in, guys. Um... But yeah, but yeah, no, I was I was happy with everything. Uh, kind of hit a lot. Next time I will try to bring an attacking list to bring some excitement because uh, I do just kind of sit back with infantry. It's kind of what you have to do. Well, that's what you got to do, though. Yeah. Um, no, but I yeah. think you played it right. I think I just had a lot of I think bad luck on my my uh, things, and you were rolling really hot for like defensive fire and infantry saves. Um, that was pretty good. You had a, a couple of runs of bad luck, but otherwise it was pretty pretty good stuff. And uh, even my Sturmovics couldn't take out this. You still have two active Hummels after three, four turns of shooting. And yeah, I'm starting to like... I've never used armored artillery before. Um, I do like it. They seem actually more yeah. survivable than the... At least because they don't have a pinning issue. They don't have um, a pinning issue, which so, is huge. Yeah, and it's nice. And they're, the way they're priced, they're cheaper, I think, than for Grenadier, like the regular hair uh, artillery. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it's a pretty good option. Yeah, they're more prone to, like, when you lose one, then you're re-rolling your hits, but otherwise they're good. Uh, my new big guns suffered from brand-new model syndrome, I think. Uh, they only killed, like, three or four infantry teams, and that was it. But, um, you know, I still like them. They're cool. Maybe I should have pushed them up and shot them in direct fire at those guys, but then I would have been probably pushing them for four turns before they could actually do that. I got a little lucky not killing one for a while, just so I can kind of keep that pinning on there yeah. instead of knocking one out, because then I eventually could not pin them anymore. Yeah, I would have preferred if that one died and then made you try to rearrange in to cover some more or whatever. And I kind of had to have that artillery park there because of line of sight issues. Uh, you had some good defensive line of sight, so I wouldn't see much of your army if I wasn't in that spot. Because this, obviously, is what I was going for. But I couldn't, uh, you know, these guys might be the MVPs. I couldn't crack them. They, they got assaulted like six times. Um, pretty good stuff. All right. Well, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this infantry battle royale. I sure did. Sean, I hope you had a good time. Yep. Always do. And, and you're going to have to teach me. Maybe I could hire you as a personal trainer to roll the to roll those <laughs> dice and, and get some work. Skip leg day. Skip. That's going to save it for the arm rolling. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, Sean, and thanks for watching, guys. Take care.